Yo, what's up, my brother? What's up, my sister? This is your boy Oscar Ntege again with yet another amazing video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove red lines from eyes. Now, when you look at this particular image, she has really a lot of veins that are going on into her eyes here. And uh, we want to make, see, when you look at this, she has all these kind of uh, stains in her eyes. And we want to make her eyes more vibrant, more lively and more white we're not not in a way that she turns out to be a robot but in a way that she looks more more beautiful now oh by the way if you want to buy me a cup of coffee i've got very many people asking me hey how can can can, can we contribute towards your channel man click the first link in the description below and buy me a cup of coffee that will be super super grateful let's dive into this now this image was already done using uh, frequency separation and uh we I'll, I'll just link the it's how we did the skin retouching of uh, this particular image. I'll leave the link just right up there so that you can watch the whole video. We're going to create a top black and white layer just there and say, you come here into adjustment layer, click there and say black and white, just like that. So we're going to come again, crush the reds. Once you crush the reds, all the veins are going to come on top see how they have come on top before we go there i'm going to just go back a few seconds and then just put this down okay now the first thing we're going to do we are going to create a stamp of this particular image right on top here how do we do that you press ctrl or command alt and e to create a stamp of that image and we're going to rename this eyes okay so we're going to create a frequency for the eyes yeah but before we do that just come and get your lasso tool we're going to put this at uh, zero yeah feather at zero and then we're just going to come and select all around the eyes like that and then get another we get we click here so that we add to the selection you draw still all around the eyes and what we are going to do with this layer selected of course the eyes layer selected you're going to right click and say layer via copy just like that so now we don't need this particular layer so i'm going to just come and delete this and we're going to come and say eyes yep so what are we going to do now we just come and duplicate this once and then you come we're going to call this eye texture and we are going to call this eye color okay so once you you do that you come and uh, make sure this is unseen so you come and say filter blah gaussian blah and then don't take the blah so so overboard you just want to have a very light blah because remember we are going to just remove a few veins from the eyes then you say okay you come into this particular layer the eye texture you come image apply image and then you say eye texture and then oh you select rather you select eye color because we are subtracting the texture off there then you say okay then you come and say linear light okay now let us let us now begin working on the eyes. Before we go there, you're just going to come and create a black and white help layer so that you bring these veins on top. How do you do that? You just come here on two adjustment layers, say black and white, and then you crush the red so that those veins come on top because it's the veins that make the image look, I don't know, that look, make, make, make her look, uh, make her look like she has red eyes so we're going to come and uh, put the hardness in 100 get our clone stamp and then we're going to come and just oops sorry with the eye texture selected and then you oops sorry so we're going to come and reduce the opacity here and uh, the flow here to i think 40 40 is very good and we are going to come here and say lighten so we come select the texture bit and then 
shall just come and begin cloning out yeah the, the process is a bit because we don't want the veins to really they, they don't look so good when it comes to so you just come and and try to the goal is not to remove them completely but to reduce the, their level of saturation in the whole image yeah so i'll just remove the black and white layer to get more guide like the uh, so we still come here same and we just brighten them up we are not removing them because the eyes naturally have these veins we, we're just brightening them up and making them brighter because if we are to whiten these eyes we don't want her to look again robotic yeah so i'll just come also in the eye color feel and then this one i'll just soften the brush a bit and then just come and brighten these parts a bit i'll just copy this color and also come and clone it around here still the same applies to these particular areas and wow there you have it so we have our eyes looking awesome so the next thing we are going to do now we want these eyes looking white and bright how do we do that you just come here into the the adjustment layers and then you say hue saturation it's that simple hue saturation and then you're going to come and put the saturation down yeah just only look at what happens to the eyes only the eyes don't bother with the skin hue saturation just like that and then you put the brightness up yeah and then you're going to change this particular because the eyes are not as white as white they have a particular color they reflect so we're going to come and we don't want it and give it that kind of bluish kind of tone then we're going to desaturate it more a bit further and then we are going to come here and say control i let's look at this and say i white oops should, should. let's let's rename this i white and uh, okay then we are going to come press this on that with a layer mask and then con press control i or command i and then you just zoom in yeah get your brush tool and then we are going to paint over just like okay let us paint over with white like that look at that isn't this magic just like that you still come here do the same So we're going to just come back and uh, refine our selection here. So what do we do? We just come, still get our brush, and then get make sure you invert this back to black. And then we come and just paint over. Oops, not so much. Yeah, you just come and paint over like that. Remember, it's, it's about giving uh, an illusion of uh, light and shadow, light and shadow, and... You don't want to make the eyes so white in such a way that and there is a mistake people do where they whiten also this uh, pink brown part of the eye now this you have to make sure you don't color it really that's why i use a soft brush around the edges so that i don't have the white spill all over the edge now i just want it all uh, just around that to give an illusion of uh, but now in my opinion this is too too white this is too white so what do we do about this we just come and reduce the opacity you know so that we give her a bit of normal looking eyes and i mean wait don't tell me you've not yet subscribed to this channel come on hit the subscribe button let me give you a moment done you're awesome all right let's dive into this okay now let me just put this in the group and you guys have a look at the before and after you'll be super amazed okay let me just see okay eyes yeah here you go before 
and after before and after you may be wondering but oscar what about these things that are all around the eyes sure i got you covered so you come click on to this particular group and then you click onto the layer mask and what you're going to do you get your brush tool and then opacity 100 floor 100 and then you just come paint black all around these edges just like that i mean this is so amazing isn't it super easy guys this is very very amazing i can't wait to see your pictures man i see many of you tagging me on instagram showing me your images i see a lot of improvement in you man go 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 nothing should stop your success man and that's that for today man i hope to see you and adios